Welcome to Development Timelines. Development Timelines is a simple web application aiming to inform the development community and all Millennium Development Goal stakeholders of relevant policies and important events that may have affected progress towards the MDGs. It combines quantitative data across time with historical information to easily visualise associations between development progress and setbacks and their context. So how does it work? It allows the user to select an indicator relevant to the Millennium Development Goals, such as the primary completion rate. It lets you choose one or several countries. And you can also browse recorded events that may have impacted progress towards the MDGs. At the moment we can choose between five different timelines, education policy, economy, conflict, other and international agenda. For instance, in the case of Ethiopia, the education policy timeline indicates that the country abolished primary school fees in 1994, a date that does actually correspond with the beginning of the amazing increase in primary enrolment visible on the chart. This progress was sustained for 15 years by the successive implementation of three education sector development programmes. And this is despite a short relapse into conflict at the border with Eritrea. In the case of Burundi, the first Education for All Action Plan and the introduction of double shift schools in 1982 seems to be associated with a significant increase in enrolment. That trend was stopped by the civil war that raged in the country between 1994 and 2006. But it resumed right after the war, helped by the abolition of primary school fees. One of the most interesting features of the application is the possibility for the user to add events, adding to the community's knowledge about policies and historical events of relevance to progress in the, in the Millennium Development Goals. For that purpose, the user has to click on the table tab and then sign in. and then to the event information. For instance, we recently learnt about the SCOFI project in Senegal, which was supported, among others, by the World Bank. That project was quite successful, and it seems worth entering it into the event database. We can now visualise the enrolment for Senegal by gender. And let's have a look at the SCOFI project on the chart. Indeed, it seems that the country has witnessed an improvement in girls' enrolment starting from 1995. 
It's important to know that the event database is an ever-growing process. We encourage people to add historical events and make the international community aware of good practices, as well as contexts that are detrimental to progress towards the Millennium Development Goals.